What is requested for this car is to be very dynamic, you know. We have all these aerodynamic additions, which makes the car look more crazy, but also increase the downforce. It takes elements of things that we've developed over many, many years in Rallycross. It ended up going way far away from a Rallycross car. The big thing is that we have no rule. We are completely open in terms of creativity. Uh, we have a series of aero add-ons. We started at the front. We've got additional dive planes, a lower one and an upper one. As you work around the car, we come up over the fenders. There's some fences to contain the air and to focus it at some aero winglets that are on the top of the fenders. Down the sides of the fenders, there's also additional aero winglets. They're intended not only for straight line downforce, they're intended for when the car is sliding. The air is applied to the side as a side force, but then we also contain that air and we create more downforce. We created a 40% scale accurate vehicle. It had everything. It had working suspension, steering. That goes into a wind tunnel, which has a a moving surface to simulate the road underneath so you can replicate in great detail the car sliding at different angles, uh, acceleration and braking movements and then also the final one is for the car to actually be lifted up so that the wheels are fully dropped out to simulate what is it going to do during flight. The rear wing is a double element uh, with an active upper element. Mainly its primary function was to activate it for when the car is in flight. The car should be able to jump extremely long ways and we don't want the nose to drop. And then it's got two extensions with additional side plates that when the car slides, the air hits those end plates, big flat surfaces, and that prevents the drift from becoming uh, excessive by the air hitting the end plate of the wing. Underneath the car, everything is flat except for the diffuser, so which helps to not disturb the airflow underneath the car. It was part of the design brief. People wanted it to look like it was doing a thousand miles an hour when it sat still. The second part of the brief was that the car had to have exceptional grip at high speed and be able to perform extremely technical maneuvers at high speed, something which was far out of the box for what Jim Carner has seen before. The two together combined created the package that we see on the car now. <laughs>